In this video, we're going to introduce the bullet dynamics workflow. We have several objects in the scene. They've just been loaded, so none of them is a dynamic object yet. Since we want the ball to be affected by gravity, let's make it a rigid object. All we have to do is to select it and click on Rigid Body. To run a dynamic simulation, all we have to do is to click Play. As we can see, the ball is falling down and is not colliding with anything else. What we can do now is to make both the ramp and the plane static bodies. To do that, let's select them and click on Static Body. If we hit plane now, we can see the ball falling down then colliding with the ramp and the plane. Static bodies behave as colliders only since they're not affected by gravity or other forces. We want the dominoes to be hit by the ball. So let's select them all and let's make them rigid bodies. Before playing the simulation, let's open the item properties. We already have the domino selected. We can now change its shape from mesh to box to make the calculation faster. Let's do the same for the ramp and for the ground. We can also select the bow and change the shape from mesh to sphere. If we hit play now, we can see the bow colliding with the dominoes. They seem to slide a little too much, so what we can do is to select all the dominoes and the plane and set the friction to something like 80%. If we hit play, we can see how the simulation is now more realistic. For more information about bullet dynamics, please have a look to the documentation.